Hello! To play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer you're going to need eight notes, that's a whole octave of notes. The lowest note we need is D, with your little finger up, and then we'll need E, F, G, A, B, C and high D. Play them with me, starting with bottom D. The song Rudolph has four beats, four crotchet beats in every bar, that's four quarter notes. And the pulse is going to be about this speed. Just play four crotchet Gs at that speed. One, two, three, four. Now have a look at the music that's on the screen and you'll see that we've got some quavers as well. So we're cutting those crotchets into half. We're qu cutting the quarter notes into eighth notes. Play that with me. One, two, three, four. Did your tongue and your fingers move at the same time? I'll have one more try at that. One, two, three, four. It's a long semi-breathe at the end. Rudolph's name, Rudolph the Red-Nosed, uses single quavers or eighth notes and it's quite tricky to count. So the easiest way for this song is to go quick, slow, quick, slow, slow, reindeer. And that way your single quavers are nice and short and your crotchets or your quarter notes are full length. So let's try playing quick, slow, quick, slow, slow, reindeer. Starting on a G. One, two, three, four. And a little bit quicker. One, two, three, four. That's Rudolph's name played and all of the notes practiced. If you look at the whole song, you'll see that most of it is the same thing that happens twice, but the very, very ending is slightly different. And we've got two bars that say first time over them, and we've got two bars with a number two, and that is what you play the second time through. So you must remember to do the repeats and go back to the beginning. And on the second time, you jump down to where it says number two, and don't play where it says first time. So let's just practice the first time bar. It's those eighth notes or those quavers again. One, two, three, four. And where it says second time, this is the ending of the tune. So we've got to get ready to go up to the big high D just before the end. One, two, three, four. And that sounds like the end, doesn't it? Okay, so should we try and put the whole song together? I think we might need some Christmassy bells to help us count in. So instead of me counting, we're going to get the bells one, two, one, two, three, four, and we'll know when to start. Repeat. 
that's the whole song. If there are any bars that you found tricky, pause the video now, look at the music and just practice the little bit that you found the hardest until that's as easy as all the other bits. And then press play again and we'll play the whole song together. So, let's play the whole song all the way through. I'm not going to remind you to repeat. Try and breathe with me. Get a little bit quicker than we did last time because you've had a chance to practice it now. <laughs> 